Hello everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. Last time, we made it through the Deepwood Shrine, defeated the final boss, and got our first element, and made our way back to Hyrule Town. Now we can do some exploring, and uh, I also got another piece of heart from this cool little area right here. So while we're still around here, there's one more thing I'd like to do. Here it is. Oh, let's get that rupee first. Bam. Cut through here. Kill this guy. No, that's not why I came up here. Ooh, but I do want that rupee. But this, we want to check this out. And then that will happen again. But we still don't know why, but it is a good idea to do that. <laughs> Alright, it's okay, it's low. It'll be worth it. Oh, didn't mean to drop a bomb. I always want to... Switch to something that's uh, not consumable when I'm walking around so I don't accidentally use up items. Anyway. Oh, gosh dang it, I hate when I do that. So I want to make my way back to Hyrule Town because there's some cool things we can do up there. So, first I want to check out this house down here. And let's talk to this cool looking dude. I am Swiftblade. You're the finest swordsman in all of Hyrule. That's pretty cool. Oh, really? Yes, please. Alright. Ooh, the spin attack. A staple in the Zelda series. Release your destructive might. Alright. I sure do. But, what do you mean? No, you, I do not give you permission to possess my body. I do not give you permission to do this, sir. This is, vi this is a violation. You, I need an adult. Yeah, he's uh, he just controlled my body there. So he does it to show us, and then we have to do it ourselves. And there we go. So it's a bit more powerful than a regular swing, and it can hit enemies all around you. And we get... A Tiger Scroll. So uh, we'll eventually learn a whole bunch of other techniques, but yeah, right here we have the Tiger Scrolls. And this will show you all the moves we have, but we're still missing quite a few, so uh, we'll have to come back and take care of that later. Anyway, let's uh, keep doing some exploring. Ah, so you can buy some secret she seashells here if you want. You can buy 30 of them, but they cost 300 rupees. We don't even have the ability to carry 300 rupees. Also, if you ever happen to uh, lose your shield, yes, that's a possibility, you'll see soon enough, you can buy a new one here. But what I want, since we have enough rupees, this will cost 80 rupees, I believe, we want to buy this wallet here. So, at this point we could only carry 99 rupees, but once we buy this, we can now carry 300. All right. So uh, let's talk to some people here. Oh yeah, we've seen that. Oh yeah, we just got ourselves a wallet, so no worries there. And who's that guy that ran past? Awesome. Oh, here we go. Let's talk to you. He's the postman. He brings us mail. Alright. Wow, this that stall looks messy. Let's clean it up. Now someone else can use it if they need to. So that opens up some a little bit later. You gotta have some meat in your diet. Come on, get some bacon. Yeah, we can't buy any fruit and he sells veggies. 
Eevee and Meanie. Oh yeah, they're, they're farmers that are actually over to the east, I believe. We'll see them soon enough. They don't really have much of an impact on the game, but we'll fuse kinstones with them. That's what we'll do with most characters in this. That's their main purpose, is the kinstone fusions, but some will only come at certain times. Alright. Um. Oh, yeah. Now I remember. Oh, let's talk to her. Oh, really? Well, we won't be able to bring that for a while. Oh, you see, we could fuse concerns with her, but we currently don't have any. None. Zero zip. So we'll need to get some. So we have another one of these. And we want to unlock it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, that's a good idea to unlock that one, too. Um... Let me think... Do I want to do this yet? Um, there's one thing we can do over here, but I'm thinking I want to save it for a special video. I think I will, and we have a ghost over here. Hello. No, not really. So I think that's all the side stuff we can do for now. So, sorry, I'm just having to look at notes here. I don't want to miss anything, so I now have another laptop open with all these sorts of notes and everything to get me to where I need to go. Because uh, if I miss something, it's hard to know what it is and to get back to it. What'd you hear? It's true. I can fuse concerns with him, but like I said, we don't have any more right now. So you want to head over to the west. Oh, hello, sir. Aw, oh, too bad. I guess this is the library. Uh, more kinstone fusions that we cannot do, and I didn't mean to do that. This must be the post office, but there's nothing we can do there. Hey, what are you doing? I want to get past, sir. What, you want to dance? You want to dance? Come on. Alright, we have to talk to him. Yeah, you actually had... I should have talked to this guy before. We had to learn the spin attack before you can talk to him. Before you can get past him. Alright. Don't get in my way. Don't get in my way. You're gonna get hurt. Oh, we just destroyed that sign. But, at least he's out of our way now. Oh, we have a new enemy. This is the Keaton. These guys, if they bump into you, they will actually knock rupees out of you. So, uh, you want to avoid that. Alright, let's, uh, let's climb down here. We'll see down... With... Hmm. We have a block, but it looks too big to push, and we have these strange glowing panels. Nothing we can do about that for now. So, we also have a bombable wall, so let's bomb this bombable wall with our bombs. And what do we get? Uh oh, we need our shield for this guy. Haha! -ha. How's that? Crap, we don't have 20 rupees. I have to grind for that. Hold on, folks. I'll be right back with 20 rupees. Alright, I got the 20 rupees. That took longer, way longer than necessary, but... Yeah, for some reason, rupees just weren't appearing for me. Anyway, got 20. So now we can buy this bottle. Now, as simple as it may seem, bottles are very important in the uh, Zelda series. They can store things which can be very, very, very useful for us. So, alright. We got the bottle. So, let's get out of here. Yeah, I'll, I'll show you in a little bit what a bottle is good for. 
So uh, we want to head this way. You can just pick up rocks by pressing the R button. We are at, now at Mount Cornell's base. So what do we do? Well, we can bomb this wall, of course. Oh, seriously, I forgot this was here. 20 rupees right here that was just sitting there. I could have... Ugh. Who's an idiot? This guy. This guy right here. So anyway, let's go through here. Uh-oh. Well, we could probably use it here. Yes, we did. What will you tell me? Yes, we already got that. So yeah, the bottle is actually necessary. So, um, let's whip out our bottle, get some water. And we see that this seed hasn't grown yet because it's not in water, so let's give it some. And for Pam, we can go up now. Now here we have another new enemy, Tech Tights. These things can be a bit annoying at times, but not nearly as annoying as they are in Ocarina of Time. Dangerous, no climbing. Well, we couldn't climb it right now if we wanted to. We don't have that ability yet. Too bad. I got these uh, tech tights. Ooh, another bombable wall. So let's bomb that open. I'm gonna quit my shield here. No particular reason. Oh, this is the wrong. Anyway, so the you know remember these fairies? You can catch one in a bottle. This actually won't be much use to us right now because we actually need this bottle for something else. But just to show you, if you have a bottle with you and you run out of hearts and die, this fairy will actually revive you and then fly off. So, if you have a ton of fairies with you, that can be very useful. And we also got some rubies. Anyway, these little puffballs right here, they can hurt you if you touch them, so... Let's suck these suckers up. Can we suck up the tech tights? Nah. So let's kill them. Let's see, where's... Oh. Kill some more of them. A little floating tornado there. Let's see. Oh, I wasn't even looking. I was trying to look at my notes and go along at the same time. Anyway, we have another bombable wall. Oh, we only have one bomb left. Let's see, do I want to be here yet? There's one thing I want to do first. I think this is the place I was looking for. Yes, okay. Thank goodness. Yep. Bombs, and uh... Usually I wouldn't do this, but we actually need bombs right now. Alright. And uh, anything you spawn under these bushes? No! Nothing. I want to head over this way first. Yeah, we want to. Let's just ignore that area over there for now. Maybe we can bomb right here. Yeah, conspicuous areas that are kind of like. Uh, just sort of open like that. You can usually bomb them. And here we have red choo choos. Like green choo choos, except they take more damage. Let's kill this guy. Climb up this handy dandy ladder. And we can bomb this sucker here. And uh, we 
can get through to here, but uh, it seems like there's a, the path is too small for us to take. What are we supposed to do? Well, that crack on that rock kind of looks like the cracks that we have that are on the stumps. So these indeed have the exact same use as the stumps. They will shrink us. And we bounce on some hexagonal, hexagonal jello. And that reminds me of uh, Banjo Tooie, that last world. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, there are other objects that'll do that for us, too. Not just rocks and trunks, but other things as well. And I remember the name of these guys. These are Moldozers. Anyway. See that these only appear in tiny link form. So uh, let's go through here. Kill these bulldozers. Um, they don't drop anything. Great! How about you? And we're led up to this strange green water. Well, let's set this fairy free. Yeah, if you set it free, it'll also heal you, but it's best to usually, if you have them, just wait till you die. Anyway, oh! Got too close. All right, we want to get some Crenel Hot Spring water. All right, so let's go back. Doo -doo -doo. All right, so let's get back to regular size. And we can jump off right here. And head inside here. Now, you see we have this mushroom. Yeah, you really, before you cross this, you really do want to get that uh, hot spring water. It's very important. You don't want to do any backtracking, do you? So now we can go up here. Ooh, we have these new enemies. Let's see, what are they called? Helmosaurs. So to defeat them... Oh, yeah. It's low, can uh, attest. You have to pull off their masks with the gust jar. And they look kind of funny without their masks. <laughs> so, let's get you. Ah, uh, got you. And let's shoot you at this guy. Oh, that didn't work. Haha! -ha. Get another rupee. Let's uh, suck these puppies up. Oh, I heard a rupee. Ah. Let's get it before it disappears. Alright. Kill this red choo choo. How was that? Really? What will happen when we jump into this vortex? Well, you're just gonna have to find out next time on Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. Thank you for watching and have a good day.